be showing you how to make an intro and outro on YouTube. So, what I'll be doing is I'll show, I'll show you two apps that are good for making music and an app that I used for like an animation. So, this is completely on mobile. So, the two apps that I'll suggest you to use um, for to make music are GarageBand and Music Maker Jam. So GarageBand, I'm pretty sure it's only available on iOS, which kind of sucks, but if you, since if you have Android, I also suggest using Music Maker Jam. So I used GarageBand for the intro, and I used Music Maker Jam for the outro. So for GarageBand, you'll have a few things that you can do. So you'll have click plus, and then you'll have like tracks you can use. You can use different stuff. Here you got live loops. I use live loops dubstep. I'll show you it. So you just click on the final one that you like, and then like mix them together. You can only promise that you can only choose one on each lane. So say you got, so you're going. But if you're doing it like up and down, you can have as much as you want going up and down, as you can see. And I'll just do this one. So, um, but if you're going sideways, you'll see if I click this first one, it'll cancel out that second one. Click the second one, it'll cancel out the first one. And you, what else you can do, you have these things, um, and these little arrows to make it so it's one whole thing at a time. I'll just show all of them. So this one, if you have iOS, I really, really suggest this. Due to it being, it's, it's really good. Very simple to use. So you can use that one. You can also have, so you have EDM, hip hop, dubstep, on the house, chill, rock, electro funk, beat master, Chinese traditional, and Chinese model. I don't want that to be playing still. So, I don't know, this, show you some other stuff. So tracks, you have these stuff, you can have different drums. So see them. So you just tap the drum that you want to play. Have multiple drums that you can choose: acoustic, electronic, percussion. Oopsie daisies. Um, you also have keyboards. You can play piano and stuff. Have different pianos: electric piano. And other stuff, you have all of these stuff, which is really nice. You'll have guitars, you can have an audio recorder. So I'll just show you all of them. See if I can find, there's one of them that I really liked. I think it was this. Nope. It was on like strings or something. Let's see if I can find it. So these are like violins and stuff. And you can like, if they have these things, um, just tap one. And you can like drag your finger up and down. I wish I could still you drag my finger around. But that's how you like can change it. You can change some stuff so it sounds different. Then I put it on two. Then three, four. So auto play, if it's off, you play it manually. You see these little dot lines in there? That means it's like this manual. If you don't have lines, it's automatic. So you have like an amplifier, drums, keyboard, 
See if I can find the one that I liked. I'm sorry about the background noise. Um, can't seem to find it anymore. I don't know what, what happened to it. There we go. So you have manual, where you have these strings. So there's... I like this one. <laughs> this one, you can't choose multiple, you can only choose one. Mess around with that. Then, so that is GarageBand. And if you want to record it, you go to like, I'm not sure how to completely show how to. You see, like, you're playing on here, and this should be like a red dot on top of your screen. Click on it, and it will start recording. And then, like, you can stop it by clicking the button again, I think. So, click the red button if you want to record. And it'll record you playing. Um, for live loops, it's basically the same thing. You click the red dot. So, the next app that I suggest you to use is, you can have this one on Android, which is good. You have this one on iOS and Android. So, let me show you it. So, what you have is, it will take you through a tutorial, at least it should when you first start it, and it'll show you how to do everything. If you wanna like get more mix packs, you'll have, you have all of these. If you wanna make an intro, the, there is some that say don't use some stuff due to copyright. So don't, if you're gonna use those, I suggest you not to use it on YouTube videos, like Jam X Artists. I think those are like copyright. But if you just wanna like make songs, they're free. Find a free one, you can get coins somehow. I forgot how to get coins. But find a free one, you'll, there's always, every once in a while there's a free one. So try to find a free one, then you can have fun and play it. So, um, okay, so I'll show you how to make some, so. I was just testing around, so, wait, one second. Um, so you'll have, go to store, and then you can like, buy different stuff. There's community, where you can listen to everybody else's songs. Home, you listen to other people's songs. My content, you can see Jam Academy, Mix Packs. The mix, all your mix packs, all your projects, and all your recordings. Okay, sorry, eyes. So, you have all these stuff. So, if you want to make music, you'll have, well, all of your recordings, all your projects, all your mix packs, and Jam Academy, they will all be in the My Content section. If you want to make music, go to my, Make Music, and then you'll have some stuff over here. So you have, so you have multiple things that you can choose from. So you can have like, you can like make it low, strong, weak, high, all that. Delete it. Um, so there's like a bunch of stuff. You click plus, and there's like, and there will be a bunch of. And there will be a bunch of stuff that you can choose from. Click on show all mix packs. You'll have a bunch of mix packs that you can choose from. Movie score. Noir. 
actually have like a bunch of them to choose from. They have pretty good, they, they do have pretty good free mix packs. So you just, so all you have to do is like, you can choose, you just make like a bunch of them. I'll just make a dubstep, see if I can make a dubstep song for you guys. So I'll show you how easy it is to make a mute, make songs on this thing. Well, I'll just make it, I'll just mix in. That's what I like to do. You can you click that red button again, and then you can like stop it by clicking it. This is really nice. I'll show you something. You see this this little circle right here. You can use it to change like the noises of it. So th that thing you can do it, and then it automatically draws it for you again. So it just repeat itself. I'm not even dragging it right now. So it's really cool. You have undo, redo, delete. So it's really cool. You have like a pro mode. So you get a three day free trial and then a dollar a month. They wanna get pro mode. You can have different stuff, like C, and then you can like change all the stuff. You can record your voice, and then you can like give, then you can give the thing microphone lights. So if you wanna sing, you can do that. I think this changes volume. Yes, it changes volume. If you wanna change, and if you wanna change the volume of one thing, you see this slider right here? See, I can make, so I can make this thing right here go louder and then quieter. So see, it's muted right now. Then I'm gonna move it up so you can see it. So that's really simple. You can like, see, I forgot what these things are for, but you can like, you can do that too. It was like volume and then tempo, I think that is. So this is really simple to use. You'll get used to it. So no worry. Oh, so these things. These microphones give you like audio lights to the thing. So the thing to the app. So give it if you want to record audio, give it audio lights, and then I think you can like add stuff over here. So that's a plus. And you can even so you can save it and then you can like post it to the public if you want people to listen to your songs. You'll get like people who like your song, and it's like you can, it's like a whole community. So, 
It's really cool. So you can post your songs, you can add pictures to it. And what you do to make it, make a, what I used for the drawing thing, I just used like a drawing, not record it. Um, the thing I used was flip a clip. So you can, this is my intro. I made at 30 frames per second. You can see all the frames I did. So I'll show you all the frames. I did 280 frames for that. And I'll show you how long it will take for the intro. It says nine, min, nine seconds and nine and ten, one tenth. So you can have all these when you want to see it in progress. Um, you click this play button. And then you can do that. So you can choose the quality of it when you make it. I'll make like another one. I'll just call it tutorial. Then you can choose the background that you want. You have scenes. You have like different paper colors. Have different patterns. You have wood. It's really nice. So I'll just use like this canvas looking thing. And then you can choose the canvas size. You can have YouTube 720p, YouTube 1080p, Instagram 16 by nine, Instagram one by one, TikTok 720p, Vimeo 1080p, Facebook 720p, Tumblr 16 by nine, and Tumblr four by six. You can also do this, change the height and width for like the pixels. So I'll just say YouTube 1080p. The selected, it says this, the selected canvas size is fairly large. So this may make the animation preview slower. It will do that sometimes. You can choose the frames per second. It'll give you a thing that will give you like, it will show you what it will look like. And it will say, and on, below that little animation, the animation shows what it will look like with the current frames that you, that you selected. And below it, it will give you like a tip. Currently you'll need to draw 12 frames to make one second. So you need to draw 12 photos to make one second of an intro. If you wanna make it. So see if it's 30 second, 30 frames per second is a very smooth, 29. And then one frames per second is not that good. <laughs> then two, I'll just say it's gonna be 30 frames per second. Or the Normal one is 12, but I'll make it 30 since it's going to be the smoothest in 12. So, you can't use 60. This kind of sucks, but that's okay. Then click create project. You have like a pen where you can like draw stuff. You have redo. You can change the type of thing that you're drawing with. You can change the size. You can change the color. Really nice. So I'll just write my name. Pretty badly. <laughs> so it's really simple to use this. You have an eraser, so I'll just scribble there. Eraser. You can erase that out. Then this. This is cutting. You can cut something. Like say I'm gonna have like a big thing. That's the big scribble right here. And I want to cut it in half. Take this lasso looking thing. Draw around it, delete. See, I cut it. Wanna delete that, delete. Again, wanna delete this, lasso it. And then I'll show the box around the thing that you're gonna delete, click delete. And also I think you can like, I'll just draw a smiley face for this. And then you can lasso it. Instead you can delete the smiley face. You can change the sides that it's doing. So it's like looking side to side. You can also make it go upside down with the bottom button. The middle button is side to side. And then the top button is toss. You also have paint. But you can paint the whole back background, which is really nice. So say I want the background to be, well, that's a nice color, it looks happy. So you can do that. And then, you can do tap to enter text, click on it, 
then you can do insert your text so you can I'll just do what I did on uh, the intro I'll have it as Cleo Sands and then you can like and then you can then you can like just drag it around and stuff. Hey yeah, Eckstein did that. And then you can like change the size so it's bigger. So let's say two So just keep on lighting it so you have multiple flames. Then just keep on doing it. If you're doing an animation and want to do an animation, this is a very good app as well. So just like drawing stuff. So I'll just keep on making it so I'll spell tutorial. should save the size of it each time, which is really nice. And then also what each flame looks like on the bottom of your screen. You can add music, which is really nice. So add that, then. I'll just move it towards the middle a little bit. And try to keep it um, near the center where you can like know that it's gonna like build properly. And if you don't, it's gonna look a little bit sloppy. So, tutorial. Now in the middle, tutorial. And then, I'll just show you. You wanna copy a flame? do this page, then go to the next flame, and then there's like a clipboard looking thing. I think you can just like copy and paste it. Just do that multiple times if you wanna like keep like a pixel. Stay there, if it's like 30 frames per second, it's gonna take a while. So what you wanna do is just keep on doing that. And now, tutorial. Spells it out really fast. I messed it up, but I'll say tutorial. So. I'll delete that one. So that's really nice and easy to use. I'll show you some other stuff with it. Hi, hi, hi. Background will be just green. It will be 12 frames per second. And then will be YouTube 1080p. So, got it. Okay. Yeah. So, you can just like draw stuff. Draw a line that's like moving. And then look, see it saves that. So you can like remember that and then make it go slightly up. The next, slightly higher. Next, slightly higher. Make it slightly, I'm just doing the slop away right now. We just very, if you want it to be very nice, put out 30 frames a second. Make it like very, very slightly higher. But I'm trying to do this fast because the video is going to take forever. So why do you feel long? So you want to do this pretty fast now. So you want to make an intro? Take your time on it. It's gonna be much. It's gonna be a much better looking intro. If you take your time, make it 30 frames a second. Make it a high quality, like 1080p or something. So don't do it as bad as I'm doing it right now. Now 
it'll just be like an animation of the thing just moving around on loop. So it's a very nice app. So you can save it. You can like, if you want to save it, you can click this. And then you can like send it to people. You can use more. Have all the stuff that I can send. If you do this, you can make it into a movie. Click make movie and then you can share and then you can do it save to my device. I suggest you doing save to my device first because one time I tried to upload it to my on YouTube on one animation, it took ages. So make sure it's saved to my device and then you upload it. So I'm about to just delete this one. You can actually you can change the name of it over here. You can copy it. I'll tell you it's a copy because there'll be a copy logo over there. So I'll just delete both of them. Um, now, what you want to do, if you want to add it together, um, I don't know any other app. Well, not too many apps. What I use is iMovie. So record it is the one that I use. I think you can edit here. I'm not completely sure you can edit well. So try to find a good software. So I guess I'm on iOS, so I'm just using iMovie. So if you're on iOS, you're on luck because iMovie is extremely good. <laughs> so go to iMovie. I mean, a skate pod video earlier doing an upload sometime. And what you do is you like pick something, say, um, I'll do, I'll just do my, um, I'll see if this is the correct one. So, create movie. The mix so was, so that's the correct one. This mix so was the correct one. You have, I cut it so it will fit. So make it sort if you can. If you don't make it sort, I'll just show you what to do. Movie, and make like an extremely long one. I'll just use this one as an example. Just cut it. You see that? It's, say this is five minutes long. And say, oh, I just want it to be two and a half minutes long. Go on the center, tap it, and then you can click split. And then you click on this thing so it has yellow around it. Click delete. Now it's only this. So that's how you edit it. Cut in half. Pretty simple. And what you want to do. So I have this one. So this can be a sneak peek of the next episode I'm gonna make. Um, so I'll just add my oh, video. Not recently added. Uh, where is it? Oh, that's photos. Um, so go to recently added videos yesterday. Plus, and that will like transfer to here. So. Hey guys, today I'll be showing and it will like smooth, it will do like a nice thing to make it look more professional. Just fade in to the video. So I'm just gonna be so, so I'm just sneak peek. I'm making an escape pod in Minecraft. It's a tutorial on how to make it, I think. I'm not sure if it's how to make both. So you can like drag it around. I so how to make both, I think. No, I don't. It's gonna be in, maybe in another video, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, so you do that. And then what you do next is you say you want the outro. It'll ask you to play. That's the wrong one. Uh, I made another outro. <laughs> um, this one, that one doesn't have. I don't hear any audio on any of them. None of them have audio for some reason. 
I'll just add that. I don't know why it doesn't have any audio. I'm confused. Let's see. I'll just say, um, all. That's a bad one. That's a bad one. See if I can find it all. Oh, I muted my audio. I forgot. There we go. That's why I wasn't working. So that was my outro. That's my intro. Outro. You can make it audio only. I just click plus. So nice. it's, if you want to do the whole intro, if you want to do the whole intro, make it just click plus. But if you want to like make it like audio only, you can do green slash blue screen, pixel and pixel cutaway, split screen, and audio only. If you just don't want to have an intro, just music. Click audio only, and it'll just be audio. I'll just delete that so you can see that intro and you see that little thing right there that means that that little icon right there shows that you're transitioning into the next thing and then I'm gonna scroll to the end of this video and then I'll have this thing that shows you going to the next video and then we'll play the outro. So, and then what you do, click done. And they can like name your movie, whatever you want. Let's name a tutorial. Then you can like click, and then you can like change it and stuff. So, and then if you want to upload it, you can have YouTube. Well, that's play, I mean, it looks like the YouTube button. But it'll give you the preview. So that little play button right there, that will give you a preview of your video. You can, that trash can will make it, will delete it. And this thing right here, you can like send it to people, click save video, stuff that. Um, so have edit, you can edit your video and stuff. So, save it. So let me just show you. You can save video. It'll ask you HD, HD. The higher the thing is, the higher the quality is, the longer it will take to upload. So, if you, I suggest you do 1080p. The time is worth it, but it will take longer. So the next thing that you need to do Oh, no, mind. you don't need to do anything else, actually. So, you go to your recording app, you end the video, I'm using record it, and then you just go to, like, my recordings, and then it will show you all the things that you did. So, I did that, so, and then you, like, upload the video, so I'm using record it, I forgot. Click on the video, click share, and then camera roll, other apps, YouTube. Don't click YouTube, click camera roll. And then upload it to YouTube. So then you, after that, you save the video, go to YouTube, and then click on the posting, and then you click on the, then you, don't click on the call to go live, just click on the video, and then I'll play the video, click next, make a title, description, make it public, and then, voila, it's all done. So you can trim the video, there's also editing here, so you can also edit on YouTube, I'm not sure if it's as good though. So. I'm pretty sure iMovie is much better than a YouTube one, so I'll just discard it. So, that's all the stuff. So, 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make an intro and outro on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to Two Kids in a Pod. Bye!